In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a classic black and white look. With a classic black and white, I mean one that is a little bit aged. And if you pay attention to like a little bit aged black and white movies, you will notice that black and white is not always like 100% black and white. There is sometimes a little hint of color, a little hint of sepia inside. So I want to show you how you can best create that look. For that purpose, we are going to use the same shot um, we used earlier which is the E002 and the CO3. Um, again, if you go ahead and create two serial nodes and on the second node, you drop the Colorlab plugin. So first we're gonna select the camera and now let's start working on a contrast. The best contrast for black and white looks when it comes to that classic feel are the F contrast. So for example, I'm going to use this F, but in order to be able to establish whether I'm getting the right black and white, I'm just going to go and reduce my saturation to minus one. So now I basically have this kind of clean black and white, but I think like that F3 works very well for the field that I'm trying to create. So this is like a perfect, like a, like a black and white contrast curve. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play a little bit with gamma to help like, uh, you know, get a little bit more the atmosphere that I want. Like this is approximately what I feel this should be. And then one trick that I use just to kind of make it feel a little bit sepia is to go back into printer lights and then to increase printer lights to, let's say, one. In real life, you would never want to actually push your printer lights all the way to one. But in this situation, it's going to give us very interesting sepia feel. So there you go. This is a very nice looking classic black and white.